Hey DIY, it's Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we are going to be talking about how to do a 6 series batch enrollment on the Lyric controller. Uh, what this means, it's basically a quick way to program multiple sensors into the panel without going into each specific zone and doing the programming. So, to start, we are going to be going into the security option on the Lyric. This will then show us the tools option, which will show up right here. I'm going to press on tools. Then we're going to enter in our installer code. Ours is still the default of 4. One, one, two. We are now in programming, so first thing we're gonna do is go into program, and then we're gonna go into zones. Now to quickly mention, uh, you can see all the zones right here. If you did wanna do specific zone programming, you essentially just tap on one of the zones, press edit, and then you can go in, do your descriptors, your serial number adding, and all that. Uh, for this video, we are just gonna be doing the batch enrollment. So, for the batch enrollment, you see the buttons right here, it says start. Once you press start, that turns the, uh, the Lyric into its learning mode. So for the sensors, we have a six series glass break right here. I'm gonna be doing first. As you can see, there's no battery installed. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna install the battery. Now sometimes just installing the battery will pick up uh, the sensor. As you can see, it has not. If it did, we would get an indication on one of the zones that it was picked up. In that case, I'm gonna actually trip the sensor by using its, pan uh, its tamper to press and release and then do that one more time press and release sometimes you have to be there we go so you see it says enter serial number or activate sensor so it's picked it up but it's not fully enrolled it yet so I'm going to do the tamper one more time and there you go it learned it in now it shows the battery life and it shows the signal strength I'm going to do the same thing now with the door contact the door contact already has its battery inside, and say it's already installed, so I'm gonna take the magnet to the relay on the door contact, basically fault the sensor as if we're opening and closing a door. Give it a couple seconds. If anything, just try it again. And there we go. Back door, activate sensor, one last time. There you go. Message has gone away. We have our signal strength, we have our battery life. I'm going to be pressing stop because we're done programming our sensors. And that's it, that's how you do the batch enrollment. It's pretty simple. Uh, you can then go into the zones. If I want to, I can press edit. Say I don't want this to be the back door. You can change it, you can change names, anything like that. Uh, change how it responds, if it's perimeter, if it's entry exit, if it's one of those door contacts. Uh, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. A lot of people do that if they have a lot of sensors around. Saves you time, uh, saves a lot of frustration in programming sometimes because you're just doing it quickly and you can just go back and review everything. Uh, if you did have any more questions about programming each, uh, either for each zone or for the batch enrollment, check out our website, www.alarmgrid.com. <clears throat> and we also have more YouTube videos, so if you did like this one, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever we release more content. Uh, and if you did have any questions, you can also email us, support at alarmgrid.com, and give us a call, and have a great day.